Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com, and today I'm going to show you how to unroot the Nexus 4 using the mSkip toolkit method. Okay, so first we're going to turn off the device. And then we're going to turn it back on by holding down both volume up and down and power at the same time until we get our fast boot screen like so. Then you're going to plug it in to your computer via the USB cable. And then on your computer, you're going to open up the toolkit, which you should have downloaded in our How to Root the Nexus 4 procedure. Uh, if you haven't, go to that procedure via the link under this video on our site. We're going to right click and hit Run as Administrator. Hit yes. Hit no. Whichever build you have, select it. Um, and then you're going to go to Download Extract and Flash Google Factory Stock ROM. So for me, that's nine. For you, it might be different. Then hit enter. Hit one to download it first. One, enter. And wait for that to download. Once it's done, uh, it'll ask you if you want to flash the image. Say yes. Then say yes and follow the on-screen prompts. If you have issues flashing the stock ROM, for example, it can't download the firmware or whatever, uh, you can just click on the link underneath this video on our site to download the firmware manually. Once you do, you'll download it here to your desktop like this. You need to right click it, hit copy, open up your file explorer, then go to C, Google Nexus 4 toolkit, and you'll see put Google factory image here. Open that, right click, and paste. Then you can go back to the toolkit and we can go to uh, download extract and flash Google factory stock ROM again. Hit enter. And now instead of download, we're going to hit two for flash because we already have it. And then you type yes and hit enter and wait for it to flash. Once it's done flashing the stock ROM, your phone will reboot and try to ask you to go through the setup process. We still have one more step to do before we can totally unroot it, so we're gonna turn it back off. Power off. And once it's totally off, you're gonna hold down again, well, unplug it for a second. Until that battery symbol goes away, we don't want that. Okay, then, we're going to hold down both volume up and volume down buttons and hit power at the same time and keep holding them until we get back to fast boot mode. And you notice down here at the bottom it says lock state unlocked. So we need to lock that uh, in order to be totally back to stock. So we're going to plug it back in now that it's in fast boot. And on the computer, we're going to relock the bootloader. So we'll hit three. For me, it's three again. For you, it might be something different, but either way, you want relock your bootloader. Enter. Hit number two, whatever it may be for you. Relock the bootloader. Hit yes. And once it's done doing that, you should see now at the bottom here, uh, lock state locked. Now we can unplug the device and push the power button to start it up. And once it boots up, you will be completely unrooted. Uh, you can send it in for warranty purposes if you need to, or you can go back and reroute it if you wanted to just start over. Enjoy.